the Miami Dolphins have a lot of work to do between now and the start of free agency but Mike Jasicki may be the biggest name fans will be watching. Jasicki is a human highlight reel. He is the tight end that Dolphins fans have wanted for almost a decade. A player who can run seam routes, get behind the linebackers, and win at the point of attack against defenders. For all the good that Jasicki does in the passing game, blocking is not one of his strongest suits and that could be a problem getting him back under contract. I have been banging my fists for a Jasicki extension. I started a chant at a home game this year, pay that man. If he re-signs, I may finally buy a player's jersey but the key? If he re-signs, Mike McDaniel is bringing a new offensive style that tends to use tight end inline, meaning they block. It is part of that running game that McDaniel loves and that could be a problem for a tight end that will command more than $10 million a season. I would love to think that Chris Greer and McDaniel are already on the phone trying to bang out a new deal but at the same time, I wonder if the conversation internally turns more towards Durham Smythe and using the money on Jasicki somewhere else. If Jasicki is brought back, I would expect him to be coached at the blocking level a lot more, I think that has been a part of the problem. He simply hasn't had great coaching. That will change with John Embree, but I also see him being used more like George Kittle in the passing game and that is important as Jasicki has that level of talent in the passing game. The blocking is the problem and it might be the only reason why he isn't brought back. That, to me, would be a shame. Dolphins retain two defensive assistants, one offensive. Not even 36 hours after his introductory press conference new Miami Dolphins head coach Mike McDaniel has spent most of his time putting together his coaching staff. There have already been reports that the team is keeping defensive coordinator Josh Boyer and defensive line coach Austin Clark and are adding wide receivers coach Wes Welker and tight ends coach John Embree from San Francisco. Now, according to the Miami Herald's Barry Jackson, the Dolphins are keeping three more assistants from the 2021 staff in linebackers coach Anthony Campanile, cornerbacks coach Charles Burks, and running backs coach Eric Studsville. Studsville, who held the role of co-offensive coordinator as well last season, is focusing on just running backs in 2022. The 54-year-old has been in the league since 1997, mainly coaching backs, so it's a smart move by McDaniel to keep an experienced coach around to lean on. Burks, who was originally brought on as a coaching assistant under Brian Flores in 2019, was promoted to cornerbacks coach in 2021. Campanile made the jump from the college game to the NFL in 2020, joining Flores' staff. He began coaching at Rutgers in 2012 and eventually worked his way into a job as co-defensive coordinator, defensive backs coach at Boston College in 2018. He and recently departed outside linebackers coach Rob Leonard worked a lot with Jerome Baker, Jalen Phillips, and Andrew Van Ginkle who all had productive seasons. The spots are filling up quickly in Miami. If you look away for a second, you may miss a hire.